Cosman here and it's time for another drawing video. Today we're going to practice drawing our names in bubble letters and then decorating our background. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is my example that I did here, but I'm going to do a different name for my second example. And for this first example, I, after I finished drawing, I went ahead and outlined it in marker and then colored it in in crayon. And so this one is finished. The one I'm going to do today, I'm just going to draw in pencil and I'm going to leave uncolored so that I can paint it at a later time. So the materials you need today are a piece of paper, a pencil, and an eraser if you are likely to make mistakes, but we're going to use it anyway for a cleanup job. So um, go ahead and get one of those out for yourself too. First, you have to decide what name you're going to use. Um, the first one I used was this name here, Jenny, but I wanted to do a different name to show you how to do different bubble letters and get those open. Um, so I'm going to do my son's name now, and that is Caden. And when I do Caden's name, he's got two open letters, and that, those get a little tricky, so I wanted to show you what those look like. So the first thing you need to do is find the middle of your paper, and you're going to write your name really big, and keep your letters pretty far apart. And nice and neat is going to get you a very good result, so keep it clean. You can do all caps if you want. You can do um, all lowercase, or you can do what I'm doing here, which is the capital at the beginning and the lowercase at the end. It's completely up to you on this one. Um, I'm throwing in a couple of extra letters here that have these middle sections, and I wanna talk about how to do those. Doing bubble letters, it's really not that complicated. There is a simple way that you can do it, and that is just by drawing two lines around your letter, one on the outside, and then one on the inside, and then closing those off with a rainbow or a smiley face. And that's as simple as it is. Um, so here we're going to go ahead and do that. We do one around the A, and when you come to these extra lines here, just go around it too. There you go. So we've got the outside line, but we also have an inside line we have to do, and this is where the inside line is, right in there. All right, and do the same thing with the D. There's one outside. There's another outside, and there's a third outside line on this one, and that's right there. So when you have these letters with the tails on them, either the tail that sticks up like the D or the tail that sticks up, down like a Q or a P, you're going to have to do that third extra one. And then, of course, close it off and do your inside extra line. And same thing with the E. There we go all the way around all the way around there we go we got to get one in here and i am not terribly happy with that so i'm going to clean that up a little bit that's okay if you have anything you don't like about it just erase it don't need to start over again just erase it make it better that's much better i'm much happier with that okay and then on the outside here going around my n go uh ooh, there's a little one right there. I'm gonna go on the inside. There's kind of a rainbow one on the inside. And then I'm gonna connect with my U or my smiley face right around there. Good, and now you can go ahead and clean up your bubble letters. And this is where the eraser is gonna be um, needed. So you go ahead and erase those stick letters on the inside, get rid of those. So go, there goes my C. And all, all I'm left with is my bubble letter. There we go. And my A. There's that one. I'm left with just the bubble letter. If you accidentally erase part of your bubble letter as you're erasing your stick line, just go ahead and redraw it. That's not a problem at all. There we go. Clean that up. Good, good, good. We want to clean this up before we get to the background. That way our um, full name is very clear before we start making it, our picture even more complicated. 
that's it clean this all up and then when you're happy with your bubble letters we're ready to move on okay so I've got all of my stick lines erased and the next part then is to go ahead and start working on the background and to start working on the background we're going to choose a point where all our background lines are going to come together and they're going to meet in the middle so what I want you to do is pick a point somewhere on your paper to draw this point and start have this be your starting point and it doesn't really matter where it is it can be way over in the corner it can be down at the bottom it can be in the middle of the letter if you want it to I'm going to pick mine right here just to kind of focus our viewer on the middle of the name I want everybody's eyes to come right toward the middle so I'm going to put my focal point right there from there you can draw um, five or six I'm sorry we're going to do a six six lines from the inside outside to the focal point line so you can start here and then lift your pencil up when you run into your letters we don't want to have an overlapping problem there too and now we've got three there we go and then run into the letter pick your pencil up imagine 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 drop it down when there's an empty space pick it up again when you run into the letter and go over so now I've got one two three four and then I need five and six good now you want to have an even number of these um, lines because uh, we're going to do an alternating pattern so if you take a look here I've got three of my bubbles and I've got three of my stripes and if you have an odd number of lines you're going to end up with two bubbles next to each other or two stripes next to each other and that's going to look like a mistake so you want to make sure you have an even number so two or four or six or eight if you want to get really fancy I'm going with six all right once you've gotten this far the next step is to go ahead and choose the patterns that you want to make and for this you just need two patterns and that's all you need um, I'm going to go ahead and pick one pattern for here and one pattern from for here and then I'm going to alternate those patterns all the way around and that's going to give us that interesting decoration look so for this one I'm going to start here and I'm going to make a checkerboard pattern I'm going to break this space up with a checkerboard and I'm going to make this one curve out there we go and as it gets further out these curves are going to get further apart so it kind of looks like it's coming toward us so there's my checkerboard pattern so I do this space skip this space draw the same pattern here minding my overlapping here making sure that I've got not too many overlapping problems I want I don't want to do too much erasing on this one there we go and do my curved lines and they get further apart as they go out minding my overlapping there we go so I've done one skip one don't do one skip one this is my next space here I'm going to watch my overlapping run into the D pick up my pencil imagine imagine go through there we go pick it up imagine imagine and that's where that line is going to come out do the same thing with this pick it up imagine 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 where is that going to come out right there and then this one is going to bump into the A right there imagine 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 I want it to continue out to that space all right <clears throat> now I do those other curved lines and I have to do some imagining here where are all these lines coming out where are they coming starting where are they going to end what is this one going to end up looking like and I'm going to start right about there and have it curve that's what I've got right now all right so now I've got three of one pattern and now I've got to alternate and do another pattern my second pattern in my remaining three spaces and for this pattern I think I'm gonna have kind of a, a wiggly line with a polka dot yeah there we go and it's gonna get bigger as it comes through oh that's the wrong one that's in my other pattern I get out of there there we go that's it and that one you can't see because it is behind the E. 
there it is <laughs> i like it that looks like an eye how funny all right and that's gonna come through right there and here and right there is where that one comes out i'm gonna do more dots I'm not going to leave that space empty. That empty spot space bothers me, so I am not going to leave it empty. There we go. That's away. This one ends way up here. That's it. Okay, so there's one space. Now I have to take that same pattern and do it in my other two empty spaces. Last one, and I think I'm going to keep it just so it is looking like it's spinning. So I had the dots down on this end, then down on this end. So they're going to be down on this end here. Okay, so I have to have it. My paper's got to be kind of upside down. This one's going to be upside down one. But sometimes that's what you get when you're an artist. Sometimes you have to draw upside down. And sometimes that makes the most sense for your picture. Now you do not have to choose my patterns. There are all kinds of patterns you can look up on the internet or create your own. You can do Zentangle patterns. If you're looking for patterns and you don't know quite what to do, those are great ones to follow. They're usually pretty simple and they usually give you a great result, a really interesting result. And now my picture is ready for me to paint. So if you are not painting this one, if you wanna go ahead, you can outline your name and your uh, focal point lines with the markers and then color them with crayons. And if you are gonna paint, then you are all set to go with your drawing. Thanks for joining me today. Bye guys.